It's day 15 of the E-World Cup of Legends and today the quarter-finals begin. It's Keith Simmons Morocco against Aston Dobson's Argentina. A quick check on the teams today. Well, Morocco are unchanged from the starting lineup in their last match and today Argentina bring Pavon back into the starting lineup as well. So both very strong squads. So the occasion keeps getting bigger as the days go on. We're about to find out the identity of our first semi-finalist around 90 minutes from now unless we have extra time and penalties once more. You would expect Argentina to be stronger than Morocco but Morocco have turned in some great performances in this tournament. Aston Dobson wants to win. Keith Simmons doesn't want to lose. It will be intriguing. Edmund Blackadder it's a joy to be sat beside you. How would you describe me after getting to know me in this tournament? Bluff and crass and unbelievably thick. Lovely. Right, let's get going. Morocco, get us underway then. Will we see the likes of Ziek and Aliui doing something impressive once again? Or will the South Americans come to the party? Here is Aliyui early on, keeping the possession well, goes back to Masrawi. And now Sice in the middle, he tries one from long range, wasn't that far over. Gave everyone in the stadium something to be excited about there. One touch, good effort. He's ruining that miss. Well, Armani goes short to Pazella. Morocco have already scored some very late goals in this tournament. Argentina will have to be wary of that. Here's Pazella, allowed to run with the ball a long way, not really getting too far. Pereira goes long, looking for Aguero. And Aston Dobson and nobody back home in Argentina cares if people think they're a one-man team and wouldn't be where they are without Lionel Messi. If he scores more goals today and they progress to the semis, it's all good for everyone. Nice back header there. And here's Hakim Ziyech for the first time in this game. Puts a decent ball through to Aliyui. El Amadi to Masrawi. And Morocco come forward again. There's the cross. It's well dealt with at the back. Now Dybala for Argentina. Can they break? Messi yet to have any kind of influence on this game. It's Pereira to Di Maria in that deeper lying role he plays for his nation. Chips it forward trying to get it to Messi. Goes all the way over the goal line though. Well some of the last 16 round games threw up a few goals. You expect it to get tense as the tournament develops will we see a lot of low scoring encounters and more extra time and the agony and ecstasy of penalties here's Sice now for Morocco probing a lot more early on oh and that's a free kick Aliyui's gone down it's definitely in shooting range we know what Ziyech can do I think he's frustrated with himself not really complaining about the award there just in a little hard, the Celso. Aliyui lost his footing. Dobson will be worried. Key Simmons will be excited. This is Hakim Ziyech. No one else going to take it. Oh, it's the wall did its job very well. And Armani claims under a bit of pressure. Argentina clear. Oh, Dybala with a wayward ball though. Aliyui finds Sofiane Bouffal. Morocco enjoying a better start to this game than the Argentinians, you'd have to say. We foul to Aliyui. And his pass doesn't quite find Ziyech. Now Dybala. Aguero calling for it. He's got into some space. It's Sergio Aguero in a great position. He's given Argentina the lead completely against the run of play. He hasn't done too much in this tournament until now. He had one shot that led directly to a goal. That's his first goal of the tournament. Could be 
the most important goal today. Aston Dobson thoroughly happy with that. Great ball through from Dybala. And Keith Simmons will be disappointed. But they do have some decent players, Morocco. They can bounce back. Great finish from the little striker there. And you didn't expect to say Argentina took the lead against the run of play in this game, but Morocco have definitely had the best of it. That's what will encourage Keith Simmons. Now to Costa. To the Starbucks. Buffal. To Costa again. Don't think they got a player called Nero. Here's El Amadi. To Ziek. They need him on form now. Still Argentina happy to concede possession. And they're getting into advanced positions, Morocco. Here's Sice again. Ziek again. Looks for Ali Ui. We know he can hit them. And Belhanda didn't try and shoot. Tried to get it back to Ali Ui. And maybe he was in the better position. But Morocco have the throw. Here's Hakim Ziek. Lovely cross. Just evaded everyone actually an offside's been given against Aliyui as he went for something spectacular well these games always get tense how would you describe Hakim Ziyech um, Edmund Blackadder he is a soft little marshmallowy piglety type of creature ok never heard him referred to as that before but you have your own unique perspective I'm sure to Costa now for Morocco Coming up to the half hour mark, Benatia. And they're just knocking it around in defence, and the ball forward is actually quite poor. Here's Pizella for Argentina now to Di Maria. There's Messi. Hasn't really done too much in this game, but he hasn't had to yet. Benatia now. You can't, while well, it's only 1 0, you can't rule Morocco out, particularly with their propensity to get late goals. How many commentators say the word propensity? That's the question. Some wayward balls out of defence from Morocco aren't helping though, but there was a wayward ball in attack from Argentina. Now El Amadi, forward to Aliui. Looks for Ziek, doesn't reach him. Pav on with the challenge. Now here's Da Costa. Masrawi on the right, little bit of space, not that much ahead of him. Inside to Ziek. There's Balhanda. Looks for Ali Ui. He's got good strength. And he keeps going. It's Masrawi. There's a man at the back post. Oh, didn't quite find the cross for Morocco there. Balhanda keeps the play going. And that's blocked. And Lacelso is going to keep that in. Vital defensive play for Argentina. Dybala now. Goes back again to Lacelso. And we're five minutes away from half time. Celso allowed to go a long way unchallenged and then <laughs> plays a really poor ball against El Amadi. A few wayward passes as this half comes to an end. Here's Messi. Inside to Di Maria. Pavon. Another goal now would be a crushing blow at the end of the first half. Here's Pereira. Belhanda with the challenge. That may be that for the first half. Can Morocco spring one last attack? No, but Argentina could. Aguero. Referee doesn't blow. Messi goes back. It's Pavon. And he does blow now. Sergio Aguero's goal against the run of play has given Argentina the lead after a fabulous ball through from Paolo Dybala. Morocco have had a decent amount of possession and probed quite a bit. Look at that. 61-39. Argentina happy to soak it all up and score that goal on the break. Look at that, 90 passes from Morocco, just 43 from Argentina. But it's the South Americans that lead. Come back for the second half. There are no changes at the break. They're all rested. We've just got 
Another intriguing 45 digital minutes of football coming up. Argentina in the box seat. Morocco with work to do. If it stays like this, we could have another interesting finish to this game. Long ball through. Dealt with at the back by Argentina. Lo Celso looks for Aguero. Now Messi. He's had surprisingly few touches today after his great performance in the last round. Here's Lo Celso again. Keeps the possession well. Dybala. Lovely work from Dybala to find Aguero. He tried a trickery. Didn't come off. There was no dynamo. Obviously, the message has come through from Aston Dobson at half-time to get a bit more possession, Argentina. And they've certainly started this half a bit better. Aguero turns, looks for Messi. He's always going to be tightly marked. And they've dealt with it there. El Amadi for Morocco. This game is not over, but do they risk going for broke and then conceding a second? When it's... The only alternative is going out of a tournament. I guess you might as well. Here's Aliyui though and Hakim Ziyech. A goal from Morocco could change everything. Deflected ball. Oof, and that's hoofed up in the air. A little bit dangerously. Carrera went down there. The play's continued. Messi finds Aguero. And he finds Messi in some space on the right. Danger here. The cross is deflected over the goal line. And Argentina are on the attack. Messi to take this corner has the short option and takes it. Di Maria. Twisting and turning. Doesn't look for Messi and it's cleared by Morocco. Well, there's just half an hour left. Morocco need to find an answer. Their late goals in this tournament have actually given them the lead in games rather than been all about coming from behind but they can do it they have the players here's Belhanda to Aliui. good foot in there from the cell zone now it's Otamendi to Kahneman Di Maria Pavon looks for Aguero well, that's nice play here's Pereira but El Amadi in strongly and in fairly in the eyes of the ref now to Costa El Amadi again Halfway through this second half, time beginning to run out. Pazella to Otamendi. Well, they need to do it again, don't they, Morocco? The Atlas Lions are the kings of late goals in this tournament. Di Maria to Pavon, Messi ahead. Aguero lurking in the middle, Dybala far post. What can Messi create from here? He gets it back to Pavon, is the cross coming in? He's looking for someone on the edge of the box. Here's Ricardo Pereira. Di Maria. Di Maria still going, nice work. And they keep possession, which is frustrating the Moroccans. Pereira again to Lo Celso. And he's clipped it into Aguero. Goes back to Lacelso. Now Di Maria. There's a shot. Never really had a lot of conviction behind it. Surely Morocco need to go for this now. They're just 14 minutes away from an exit at the hands of Argentina. Oh, and that's a careless ball. They've got away with it though. Kahneman at the back. Lofts it forward, but it's straight to the Moroccan. Now here's Belhanda. Comes inside. Ziek goes ahead. Here is Hakim Ziek. Crowded out of it, and Armani has the ball. Now Pavon. They may leave gaps at the back here, Morocco. Ziek to El Amadi. Spreads the play nicely to Sofiane Bouffal. Nine minutes from time. 
This is intriguing. Here's Bufal again. Tried to get the cross in. It's blocked, but it will stay in. That's well done by Bazella, you have to say. Goes back to Di Maria. Here's Messi. Lofts it over the top and Aguero's there. Dybala on the far side, great challenge. Bunu clears. And the free kick is given Argentina's way. It's not really gone for Morocco yet today. They both went down there. It was a bit of a 50-50 challenge. And Ali Yui, who scored some amazing late goals, is going off for Boutaib. And Amrabat is on for Boufal for the last few minutes here. Last throw of the dice from Keith Simmons. Argentina will want to soak up any pressure and keep possession. But they've lofted that forward for Aguero. That's only going to be given to Morocco. Here's El Amadi. They need another one of those late goals. He's lofted it forward. Not quite the accuracy. Oh, keeper was a long way out of his goal. I think they've actually given offside. Armani heads it there. There was nothing wrong with that. To ZX frustration, the flag goes up. And is the game up for Morocco here? Our Aston Dobson and Argentina going through to the semi-finals of the E-World Cup of Legends. Long clearance. Morocco have to get this ball back. And they haven't. Well, we're approaching the 90th minute. The substitutions mean there will be a little bit of injury time. But they haven't created enough today, Morocco. Certainly not in the second half. And unfortunately for the Africans, the game is now up. Keith Simmons and Morocco exit this tournament. They've done so well to get here. It was a step too far to try and beat Argentina. The players' faces have disappointment written all over them. Not literally, that would have been some strange kind of graffiti going on. and No one wants to see that. But Argentina kind of ground out that result today. They were not the better side at the start of the game. And their goal came against the run of play. Morocco doing a lot of pressing. Ziyech will be disappointed he couldn't get that free kick over the wall. And then here is the moment that lit up the game. Dybala's through ball. Aguero's lovely control. Couple of small touches. Strikes it home. Aston Dobson's talked about winning at all costs. There were no dark arts involved today, they just won. And found themselves under little pressure in the second half. Great finish from Aguero. And there you have it. Fairly equal possession, equal number of shots. Not the greatest of games, but Argentina find themselves in a semi-final. But who will they play? Portugal or Slovenia? Well, let's see what the managers made of that. Firstly, Keith Simmons. Um, Morocco have brought a lot to this tournament. You must be devastated tonight, but at least you do leave with your heads held high. Well, I don't know. I'm very down about it because uh, I gave them explicit instructions before the game. Right. And what were those instructions? Can you tell us? Make sure you win. That was all <laughs> I said to them. And uh, I can't believe that they didn't because uh, I know I can't speak Moroccan. I had to have an interpreter. And uh, unfortunately, the interpreter was German and he couldn't speak Moroccan either. So he spoke in German to them. And then I think it went down the line and it was probably like Chinese whispers because I think it probably finished up, make sure you lose. And that's what's happened. Right, right. So in a strange way, they have still followed your instructions then. Well, well, not my instructions, but some interpreter way down the line. You know, I mean, everyone was employing different interpreters. I wouldn't mind, but I spoke to Martin Keown before this, and he said, who are you? And I tried to tell him, but he didn't want to know. I was going to ask that, actually, because obviously with your long and distinguished career, you must have a lot of contacts. So did you have any other ex-professionals in your backroom team? Uh, well, I nearly met Frank McClintock once. Uh, and I did speak to Bob Wilson, 
uh, but that was after he'd retired, so he didn't really have any help, offer any help at all. My great uh, footballing hero was Alan Ball, and I met uh, Alan. He made me a cup of tea once, but um, I didn't get any tips from him either. Well, that's fantastic. Alan Ball, an ex-World Cup winner. I mean, sadly, no longer with us, but he must have inspired you somewhere down the line. So what did he say to you all those years ago that stuck with you today? Hello, Keith. Right. That's what he said. And, okay. um, and also, I once met Martin Peters in the uh, cafe beneath your flat. And um, that was quite exciting at the time. Yeah, but, um, yeah. None of this has rubbed off on me at all in so much as winning football games. Well, listen, thanks for coming to talk to us at a difficult time and we wish you all the very best for the future. Thanks. OK, thank you. I don't speak German. <laughs> thanks to Keith Simmons there. And now Aston Dobson, the victorious manager. I know you haven't got very long. Thanks for coming and chatting to us. You keep on winning. I'm addicted to winning and uh, I will not stop. Absolutely, yes. And now... Do you believe there's anything to stop you? I mean, will you win the whole tournament? I will not stop. Winning is the only option. Lovely. Aston Dobson, thanks very much. Um, Edmund Blackadder, if Argentina win this tournament, do you know what will happen to them? They're given a little present and allowed to go free. Uh, very possibly. They're not exactly captives. But thanks for being here once again. See you later on.